Hello everybody, welcome back to Oxen Free. Last episode, um, we may have saved our friend. Not entirely sure, but um, anyway, we're now off to save the final person. I'm pretty sure things are going to go wrong anyway, so hey, positive attitude. Let's continue. Um, yeah, I'm keeping this on a pause screen because usually the moment we enter somewhere there's yapping and I don't want to talk over people, so... You know. Uh, what is that? Can anyone hear me? Anybody? Clarissa? Damn it, is this thing working? If anybody can hear me, I'm at Fort Milner in the, uh, I think, crap, I think in the gym or something? Well, she's around here somewhere. I was worried, honestly, that she, um, might have left. She sounded sort of scared. Like in Dire Straits' actual trouble right now scared? Look, I think we can all be included in whatever definition of trouble there is, so... Dire Straits. Good band. Ren said something about Fort Milner being decommissioned, right? But, and hear me out, what if it isn't? What if they just said it was decommissioned, and there's, like, still people, like, in there, like, doing stuff? What are you even talking about right now? Just, what if all the stuff that's like happened to us, the stuff we've been seeing, is like the direct result of some government secret project? Like, what if there's some um, experimental uh, program or something? And sure. we've been catching I mean, like little I'm slivers of it. Kind of in no place to toss aside any reason for what's been going on. So, yeah, it's the government. Let's go with that. It's hmm. just my going premise right now. So, I don't know, keep a tally. Well, we've got a fun little red blinky light again. That's going to be great. It'd be a mess if I didn't actually try it, but I'm curious to see if this door will open. It's like, it's not locked. There's like something blocking it. Clarissa! She wouldn't have barricaded herself inside, right? Hey, what do you think? Keep looking? I think we should keep looking. You're probably right. Yeah, let's go investigate the blinky light. Oh, so we need to check what's on the radio. I wonder, could this be one of them there booby traps? Hmm, could be. Is that Looney Tunes? Hmm. <laughs> I think that might have been Looney Tunes. Photography prohibited. That is a very serious sign. Restricted. Keep out. Now well, they're not messing around. Does the fine print say something about... <sighs> Don't worry about it. Kids do this all the time. The worst that happens is you snag yourself on a nail or something and have to go get a tetanus shot. It's something I don't really like, the inter whole interrupting thing. Can we not do that? Like, pick a choice and then wait for a dialogue to end before I actually say it? I mean, you know. Huh. Like every freaking door here is locked. What's that over there? Yeah. You ever fired a gun? No. Never really wanted to either. I have. Yeah, me neither. My grandfather had a, a snub nosed centennial. Even small, they're heavy. I never liked it. See that sign? They were originally going to make this whole place into a museum, but quit halfway through. It doesn't look very, uh, safe, so I can understand why. Well, of course not. I mean, you have to bulldoze the old stuff. Of course it's not going to be solid on its foundations. You have to pull it down and build something new, something that is structurally sound. Ooh, there once was a whole other mansion there. Let's not build anything there. Ooh. All right, let's bring out the creepy stuff. That's why we're here, right? There we go.
I think this is good. Dinner time. It's never too late to make dessert. Not anymore. <laughs> what the hell is this? Do you want to play a game? Make it rain. The actual All right, making it I rain. I know the answer is no, but we kind of do have to find Clarissa, so let's just ignore the question and thank the weird radio man for the oh, door. Wait, seriously? Doors that open themselves have been like a really bad thing in my experience. Oh, really? Even automatic doors like yes. Well, I got my elbow pinched in one of those one time, so yes, even those. And I'm sure it was traumatizing, but we gotta go anyway. Sorry. I think the worst thing is like those revolving things you find at uh, uh, what's the proper name? Like amusement parks and stuff like that. That are, like you can only go through one way, and then you end up on like a revolving thing. And if you don't get out, you can get like stuck in it because the thing won't turn backwards, and yeah. You may not know what I'm talking about, but if you do know, it's it doesn't sound fun. I'm not just talking about a turnstile, but like an actual like only half of it's like if if you do walk in that circle too far, you're like really stuck in there. Oh no 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 no! Don't be locked. Come on. Well. We didn't really need to go back anyway, right? Unless there's no way out, then yes, we might have. Well, Clarissa got in through some other door, so we should be fine, hypothetically speaking. Uh, speaking of which, she dated Michael? Is that right? It really wasn't. I mean, yeah, it was like for a few months, but you know, that's nine weeks in the scheme of things. I've had rashes that lasted longer. I mean, was he the type of guy that would go for that, like, sort of thing? I'm just trying to... I'm trying to picture it. Well, you know, you'd have to ask him what he was into, I guess. I mean, just from what I've heard of him, like that one story about the cops just straight buying him a beer? I mean, just mm -hmm. what would a guy like that see in her? Like, at least at the start, there must have been something, right? Look, Jonas, girls go for assholes and guys go for psychos for the same stupid reason. They're interesting. For a while. But that crap gets old fast. Huh. Okay. It's just, uh, interesting, I guess, to me. Look, it really wasn't a big deal. That's all. I believe you, I believe you. Ah, <sighs> can you imagine sleeping here? I'm trying not to. But why would the construction guys leave the bed frames? Seems kinda... I don't know kind of morbid yeah it's it's just strange to see it like this Ooh. stuff like this I always thought it was pretty kind of like I don't know kind of like the buildings being reclaimed by the trees and the soot and the soil you know well right now it just looks like scary tentacles so in the daytime this is pretty much skater mecca I can tell yeah, stairs are really great to go off of on skateboards. Did you say Nazi activity? <laughs> what even? Japan mucked up. <laughs> this, my dear, is called Nazi. The Looney Tunes again? 
them bums and I'll bury them in the latrino. Oh, I'm the wild fish. Ugh, weird. Let's go the other way from where he's going. U.S. Army are padlocked doors, so we're not getting in through it's here. It's got a padlock. You can't pick this one, can you? No. We need, like, bolt cutters or something. Or the code. Strangely enough, I also have a set of lock picks. I've only managed to do basic stuff with it, but... Hey, that's... Clarissa! Don't just leave me here, Jonas. Wait. Jonas, what happened? Are you all right? Jonas, are you okay in there? Uh, I think that shows like a lock and a radio, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to open this up with the radio. Let's give that a shot. No. Hmm. Yep, yep, we're going home. We're done. Yep, fun's over. <laughs> I would probably end up doing that at some point and if I were in a situation like this wouldn't you like okay yeah um bye wouldn't you I don't know well there's a button to make everything so much better testing testing um okay I can't I can't hear anything outside at all, but luckily this radio thing's working. Look, whatever. Clarissa's not in here, and it's just a room, so, like, riddle me that, first of all, and then, second of all, I can't get out. The door opened, like, a second ago. Can't you... Are you sure you're just not turning the knob the right way, or...? I, I can't hear anything outside at all, but there's just a really weird lock here. Does anything out there explain what this is? Yeah, probably something to do with the radio. Ow. I'm okay. You know, I thought it was dark out there. But let me tell you, when you're trapped in a broom closet, it gets a lot darker. Yeah, it looks like it should be... You know, I never wanted to be a DJ. And this isn't really enticing me to start, but I can sort of see the appeal now, you know? But I'd be a horrible talk radio guy, like just giving a ping... Is it... Dan... When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What, what is... What? Yeah, that's not gonna be weird at all, is it? Ow. Okay, what just happened? Cause that, that sucked. Are you okay? A little shaken up? Well, we blew past nap time a while ago, but yeah, I'm actually better than fine. Why exactly are you better than fine? Radio locks. The technology here has always been, it's like primitive and from the future. Yeah, no, it's something. Nope. Anything of use in here? Codes. Oh, here's the code for the uh, for the padlock. Three, four, eighteen. It's on a list of. Huh. They call codes cookies. Is that slang or something? I don't know, but we got the combo. So great. Hey, did I? Did Did you see that? In In the mirror. No. The reflection it was weird. Uh, don't think I'm nuts or anything, but. My reflection kind of gave me, like, fatherly advice that made absolutely no sense when you were stuck just now, so... Wait, seriously? 
I'm gonna take a picture, see if the flash will... Okay, make it snappy. Get it? No. I'm choosing not to get it. <sighs> I have to wonder how they turned a photograph they made on a cell phone into a Polaroid. Oh, I'm gonna hate to go out in that. So actually, um, before we press on, I've had to go pee for like a while now, so since we're stuck anyway, I thought I'd... Oh my god, go in the corner then. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know this is like way too much too soon for us right now, but I'm gonna totally explode. I'll force it out fast. I cannot at all believe you right now. Don't look at me. And moving on. Oh, that Lisa. is cool. Okay, that was definitely her. What is she? Is this just like a game to her or something? Clarissa, come back. We came to help you. Don't... Ugh. You know, it just occurred to me, she could also be having like a Ren episode. A Renisode. Possessed, or whatever we want to call it. But Ren... Ren acted like he was underwater. The guy could barely move. Yeah, well, that's true. Hello? Is Ooch. this thing... Is this... God, is this... Is this going out, or... Wait, I can... Ugh, I can hear myself. That's oh, not... Ugh, man, maybe God, she didn't see us. Anybody... I don't know, but... Whatever, she still wants a radio, so Ugh. we still gotta get to her. <clears throat> anyway, in case you haven't noticed, he volunteered for submarine service. Ah, great. Red blinking light. <laughs> Those are always great. The handprints are a macabre touch. Do you know who did that? Please tell me it's like a known thing teenagers here do or something. It's probably like children. They have such little hands. Yeah, little kids just making a mess of things. What was that? You... you heard that, right? I don't know. I have no idea. Why would I know? I don't know. All right, fine. We'll both be in the dark together. Metaphorically, I mean. Ugh, fudge it. Let's see what else is on the radio right now. Deserted his post under fire. Now, in making an example of you, I... Orderly! Orderly! Let's get weird. High in the Cascade Mountains of Washington, the Navy opens the world's largest radio transmitter. Its one million watts can flash a message around the world in a tenth of a second. Hey kids, wanna play a game? Uh. Uh. They're talking about... 
It's oh, great. about the Navy? Hangman. Hangman? Be sharp and listen, mister. This is going to tell the classification board a lot about what can be expected of you in the future. How many questions will you be able to get in the allotted time? Like a test? Uh, this, this isn't how you play hangman. Here's a simple one to start, so don't hold your breath. What is the name of the school you are standing in? School Ten. we're standing in? Isn't this Nine. like a classroom? Eight. I, I thought it was just... Uh, the school for armed services? Our friends are finding this tough. going on Ugh, come on guys this isn't exactly fair now just keep the pointer on the button question two what did the communications officers at Fort Milner call codes cookies who Ten. know that this isn't you called codes cookies there now you're cooking Yay. coded radio transmitters have an important job and you wouldn't want them to be unqualified. Uh, no. I mean, like any job, right? Like anything, right? We are an island race. Okay. And through all our times, the sea has ruled our breaks. But be wary, young ones. All right, if I'm answering the questions, you can leave Jonas out of it, okay? One last round and you've cleared your exam. Pencil's ready. How many officers died in the sinking of the USS Canaloa? The, but how, how? What? Ten. Fifty-three. Fifty-three? You're off, Bob. That's not gonna cut it. Ninety-seven brave men and women died on the USS Was Canaloa. Was that even an option? Eighty-five officers. Twelve passengers. It all adds up to another fact for the classification board. Just another fact among many. I am. I didn't need to get that far. Great, now he's out of it. Well, we got one, right? Okay. Now who's having a renaissance? The United States submarine Canaloa is shown for the first time in Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Pacific waters patrolling for the enemy. Through the periscope, the commander looks out over the ocean's surface. Canaloa was lost today, lost at sea near. Dead officers that sunk on the Canaloa? We are the sunken. What? What do you want? For the first time. For the first time. For the first time. Time. Just time. What? I... that was... not fun. Just take it slow and easy. You've just had... an experience. Yes, 
Yes, very good. This has been United News, and thank you for listening. This is just unbelievable. I... Anyone? Can anyone just... That's gotta be Clarissa. Let's get her and get out of here. Or use her radio and get out of here, but let's just get out of here. Love to, but uh, we're going that way. How long has it been open? Clarissa's asleep right now. Be still so as not to wake her. Um. Huh? I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> eh. Oh boy. Cross your fingers. <sighs> Clarissa. Oh, well, look at this. The super twins decided to grace me with their presence. I thought maybe I wasn't good enough for a house call, doctor. So. <sighs> okay, don't even start, Clarissa. We came. We're here. Be happy. All right, don't get all, you know, but be honest. Did you come because I needed help, or did you come because there was a radio? Um, Clarissa... I want to hear it from Alex. <sighs> yes, of course, Clarissa. I really don't appreciate the question. Okay. Speaking of the radio, where is it? I don't know. I can't get it to do anything I want. Alex, want to take a look at this? Sure. I got this. Yeah, no, this is... This is like a low frequency thing. It, it's just meant for the base. It won't. I don't think it can beam out. <sighs> really? No, no, no. Isn't there a way? Officers who know your problems full and well will give you a friendly and sympathetic hearing. Who is that? Cross your fingers. Jonas, wait. We're in another. <sighs> Got looped again. Crap. Well, just keep me in the loop. I didn't mean to say that. Yeah, I think you'd rather not be in the loop on this one, but hey, let's see how weird Clarissa is now. Clarissa! Yep. Is there anything like can we cut her down with something? Clarissa? I would have swore she was in here. Clarissa. <sighs> oh, maybe this was the the thing, the radio she was using. If we can get it to I mean, she got it to kinda work, so. We should be home free. Yeah, it it only broadcasts within the within a short space. It's not gonna do what we need it to. Really? How do you know? I just know, alright? I can tell from here. Well, I'm still gonna try. <laughs> well <sighs> Fine. Clarissa. Cla Clarissa, what are you doing? Alex, don't worry. She's like, I can never forget she's that like I am an American, fighting for freedom. Clarissa, will you wake up? Dedicated... There will be other ships and other souls to sail them. she do that? What? Why would she do that? We're, we're, we're not, it's not like we're... I can't believe this. I, I can't believe she would do that over... I mean, things are, are bad right now, but you, you can't just... I, I just... Uh, this is... Jonas, this is so horrible. I don't... I don't even know what to... We... We should get to the others. I... I can't even imagine telling him, or, or how to tell them. I'm. Uh, I don't even know how I can tell her mom. I mean, we. She knows me. This can't. Oh God! And just the fact that I'm the one who, who was here. I, God. We'll, we'll figure it out. This is unbelievable. Yeah, I'd probably lose my uh, <clears throat> as well. Seeing something like that. I mean, we weren't in the loop anymore, so she may have actually just 
kill herself. Is it because I screwed up the hangman thing? I mean, it's not like I could have known the name, could I? The number wasn't even an option, I believe. Wow. Um, there's no way she got up from that, right? Like, there's no way. We both saw- Wait, she's- Alive? How, how is... How is that possible? I bet all the money in my pocket that no one could survive that. So why isn't she here? This isn't possible. Because unless she's built of rubber... We did just go through a... Uh, sort of a... Temporal anomaly. A time thing? Maybe it's screwed with what happened? Well, regardless... Good news? I, yeah, I, I'll see. What? Well, um, <clears throat> on that side note, I think this is where I'm going to cut it for this episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're still in the series. Feel free to show support by coming, liking, and or something if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.